Just want to show you some different print layout options that are available in Affinity Publisher. So I'm going slightly beyond the ability to print a single uh, a page or a, a two-page spread uh, directly to the printer, and we'll look at different print layouts such as uh, tiled layouts, uh, end up ganged layouts, and also booklet layouts too. So we'll first of all start with this uh, large format uh, document. And I'll go to spread setup and show you that the page preset is set to uh, A1. So this A1 document, uh, I want to print onto multiple sheets of paper, effectively uh, tiling out the sheets and then manually either sellotaping or stapling them together. Um, so if I just uh, click uh, cancel there and I go to the print dialog, so file print, and you'll see initially we have this red in the preview window and this indicates that this physical, uh, rather this uh, document size will not fit on the physical A4 sheet of paper because it's too big. And now I could either uh, scale it to take it down to A4 but I want to create a larger format print uh, like a poster or a, um, a banner. So I can actually do this by going to document layout and choosing a model of tiled. And here simply we've got uh, nine sheets of paper which will be printed in turn on your printer and I'll just click through those, uh, sheet two, sheet three. We're effectively looking down the, um, the document, so uh, tile one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine right the way through, seven, eight, nine, that's the bottom corner there. And I can choose an overlap of say one centimeter to ensure that there's no white space at the edge uh, of the page um, that would um, show through. So you could um, have a, a bit of an overlap there to get better results. So I would click uh, print, but I'm just gonna click cancel for the moment and move on to the next one. Choose file close and file open. We're going to choose this end up printing option. Click open. And this is uh, a business card size, so uh, it could be any uh, uh, small format document, but we'll go to file print. And from here you can see that the, uh, the single uh, design sits within the A4 piece of paper but I want to have multiple instances of that design on this, uh, the same sheet. So we can do this by going to uh, document layout again and choosing the end up option. And this adds the, um, the single design in the top left hand corner. But if I just choose uh, these options here across and down and just increment those, see that to three, and the down to three. This is just an approximation at the moment. And I choose to repeat the design again and again. And you'll see it just adds the design multiple times. Now I've got to three there. Now if I added another one, nothing will happen. But if I increment the down again to four, the preview goes red and that's indicating that there's uh, it's not enough space for the um, the extra option there or the extra design. So I can bring that back to three and uh, then adjust these uh, values here because there's no more space for uh, the design. So if I just move this in a little bit and the top down a little bit and I can also increase the gap there as well. Okay, so that's, uh, that's fine. So that's uh, an example of NUP gang printing. So I would normally click print, but I'll click cancel for the moment. Our third example is uh, book, booklet printing. So we have here an A5 document. You can see that 
page preset A A5. And I want to take advantage of my A4 physical uh, pages, my printed sheets in my printer, to create a, an imposed A5 booklet using my A4 sheets of paper. And I can do this by going to File Print, keeping the page size A4, but I'll choose a, pay, a range and scale uh, option. I'll swap to document layout instead and I'll choose a mode of booklet. And you see that the, um, the pages have been imposed there uh, in this preview window and imposed on the fly in readiness for printing. Now I've got a, a duplex printer that I want to print to so I'll take advantage of that um, and I'll just go to, excuse me, and I'll just go to layout and I'll choose two-sided option of short edge binding. And once I've done that, if I click print, I'll end up with a, uh, an output which is effectively an A4 sheet of paper, but we've got uh, imposition on the fly in place because it's been able to work out that that is page one, page two, page three, and page four.